Let's start with camera shade transition. Duplicate your second clip, the one that you are transitioning to, disable the bottom one and go to fusion page. Select media and one node, shift space bar and apply a magic mask. If you have version 20.2, just click on your object couple of times to cut it out. Ok, when you select your object, choose mode to bear and click track. And when it's done, go back to edit page and duplicate this clip. Disable the previous one, go to effects window and look up for directional blur. Apply it to our top clip, hover playhead somewhere here, set blur strength to 0, add keyframe and change blur angle to 90. Go to the first frame and set strength to 2. Open keyframe editor and ease keyframes. Now we have this cool blur animation of the second wrapper. Cool, now disable the stop clip and enable the middle one. Go to fusion page, open matte settings and enable inward matte checkbox. Go back to edit page. And now we have both mask of the same clip, original and inverted. Now let's animate the inverted one. Hover playhead where second rapper moved down his hands, set keyframe and position, place playhead where he moved his hands up and position it to the top. So the image is going all the way up, like this. Is keyframes with keyframe editor. Cool, we have the main animation ready. Let's apply shade transition. Select both clips and create new compound clip. Trim it where you want to make the transition, enable the original clip with no effect on it and put top clip one layer down. Go to effects window and search for camera shake. I'm gonna make it a little shorter. And go to inspector window to set all refraction values to zero. And enable motion blur if you want. And let's see the result. Noise dissolve and smooth cut. We are gonna apply two transitions here. So this is the previous transition that we made before with the next clip of a guy standing on the car's roof. Let's duplicate this clip. Go to fusion page. Shift space bar and apply magic mask. Create couple of dots to select your object with a dropper. Select mode to better and hit track. Go back to edit page. Enable bottom clip and trim it to the place where you want transition to appear. Slide it down to the same layer as your first clip. Go to effects window and search for noise dissolve. Drag it onto your top clip. Go to inspector window and change type to radial. That's a nice transition if you want to reveal your object. Ok, now go to effects window again and look up for smooth cut. You can use it almost everywhere and it won't make your edit worse. Change ease to in and out. Make sure speed warp is enabled. And that's it. Let's take a look from the beginning. That's the video of a drifting car. Let's duplicate it and apply magic mask in fusion page. Select the car with the dropper and click on track. Cool, now we have a flying car and we need to apply a block glitch transition later after the car flies in. So enable bottom clip, trim it where you want the transition to appear, drag it down and go to effects window. Search for block glitch transition. This one is also a very cool transition, especially if you combine it with magic mask. So drag it in between two clips on the bottom layer, change settings to your liking. I will set resolution to minus 45. And that's it. Crash zoom and drop warp. So that's the jump cut of a woman and we need to duplicate first clip to apply magic mask. You can do it without magic mask as well, but I think it looks more creative and stylish in combination with magic mask. So apply magic mask to the top clip, select your object and track the mask. Go back to edit page and open effects browser. Look up for crash zoom transition, drag it into our top clip. So we will have two transitions here. One at the top to animate our object and second at the bottom to create nice transition in between our first and second clip. So here we have our first transition and now we need to apply the second one. Enable our bottom clip, 
trim it to the right so the second transition appears later, and slide it down to match the first clip. Open effects window and search for drop warp. Drag it in between our two clips at the bottom. You can play around with the settings, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. So sweet, yeah, I need it from you. Disarrange. Duplicate your clip. Disable the bottom one for now and go to Fusion page. Select media and one node and apply magic mask. Click on your object with a dropper to mask it out. Choose mode to better and click track. Go back to edit page. Open effects browser and look up for noise dissolve transition. We already applied in the second example. Drag it onto your top clip. Choose tab to uni and increase softness a little. Trim bottom clip to the right to match the previous one, enable it and slide one layer down. Go to effects browser again and search for disarrange transition. This one is very cool 3D glitch transition. Drag it in between two clips, make it a little longer and set alpha value to zero. And let's see what we have. Luma wipe. Let's duplicate this clip, go to Fusion page, shift space bar and apply magic mask. Create couple of dots to select your object with a dropper, select mode to better and hit track. Go back to edit page, trim bottom clip to the right to match the previous one, enable it and slide one layer down. The technique is the same in all examples. Go to effects browser and search for luma wipe transition. Apply it to the top clip and also drag it in between two bottom clips. Select top transition and change softness to 0.5. Make a bottom transition a little longer, so we have a nice reveal animation of our ballerina. Nice. But I want to move transition a little to the left, so it begins faster. And that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also visit my store for some cool DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro effects, transitions and titles. I appreciate your support. Thanks a lot and see you in the next one.